Hello everybody, it's Sticky Time Gal. I'm going to show you how to use this uh, online e-juice calculator that I always use. Go to your uh, IE, Opera, Firefox, Netscape, whatever you use for your browser, open it up. And when it does decide to open, there it goes. You're going to go You're going to go to uh, www.toddmuller.com slash eju slash eju slash php. And I'll put the link below. This is what it's going to look like. It's going to look like an online eju calculator. Okay. I'll blow this up a bit so that you can see. Okay. This is where you're going to put your information, the user input. Okay, number two things. Two things. You're going to need to know your nicotine milligram strength, and you're going to need to know what PGVG ratio that your nicotine base is. You're going to enter in what your nicotine base is here. Mine is 100 milligrams of nicotine. Then down here is your target nicotine level. This is what your finished product will be, what the total milligrams will be. I'm going to put 12 because that's what I usually smoke. Amount to create, you're going to put anything from a couple of milliliters all the way up to a couple of hundred milliliters. We're going to start off with a 10 milliliter bottle we're going to make. Make sure you have an empty bottle that is big enough to hold the amount that you're going to make. If you have a 50 milliliter bottle, um, you can make 50 milliliters, obviously, but if you have a 10 milliliter bottle and you are going to make 50 milliliters, you're going to have a problem. So you're going to need to make sure, since we're making 10 milliliters, we have a 10 milliliter bottle or we have two 5 milliliter bottles if we want to split it up. Okay, here is your water added optional. Some people will put water, vodka, or PGA in their mix. It is not necessary. I do not find that I need to do it, so I always leave it blank. It will not mess with your calculations whatsoever. Down here is your flavor percentage. Okay, you're, if you want a mild, light flavor, you're going to start with a 5% or less. Okay, don't go with a real big number if you don't want a real strong vape. I want something that tastes like I'm putting a Jolly Rancher in my mouth. I want a pow flavor. I want it to explode in my mouth. So I'm going to put 25% is what I want my flavor percentage to be. Um, it is always easier to add a couple of drops of flavoring to a finished bottle if you want it a little stronger than it is to try to mess with your PGBG and nicotine to try to reacclimate your bottle to where it should be. So start low if you don't know where to start. Start at five or ten milligrams and or ten five or ten percent and go from there. Okay, now. In your bottle as well, you're going to need a label of some kind. Tape a piece of paper to it, get a little pla a little uh, sticker label. You can get them at Office Max, Office Depot, Staples, Walmart, Joanne Fabrics. Get you some. I picked up 150 of them for 6 bucks, so not too terribly expensive. You're going to put information on your bottle. You're going to put your flavor that it is. You're going to put your nicotine strength. You're going to put the date you made it. You're going to put your PGVG ratio. And if you'd like, you can put other information on there as well, like where you picked up the flavoring from or where you got the PGVG from. Whatever information you want to go, put it on that label. That way, when you put that bottle down and you pick it up at a later time, you know exactly what's in it. Nothing worse than having a whole bunch of bottles, half empty, half full, floating around. You don't know what's what in them and it can get dangerous. Okay, once you've plugged in this information at the top here, you're going to hit the return or enter key. It is absolutely imperative that you push this enter or return key or it will not calculate properly. Okay, now down here is going to be our recipe. Okay, PGVG nicotine is 1.2 milliliters, 24 drops, or 12% of total. The reason they put drops in there is because if you're making a small 2 or 3 milliliter bottle, you're going to be adding drops of stuff and not milliliters. PGVG with no nicotine is going to be 6.3 milliliters, 126 drops, or 63% of total. And I will explain to you a little more about these two things in a moment. Your water, PGV, or P, uh, VGP, whatever it is, your, your water, your vodka is going to be zero because we added zero to it. And your flavorings is 2.5 milliliters, 50 drops, or 25% of the total ratio.
Now, in order for me to show you a little bit of how to do these side calculations, I'm going to lower this back out. I'm going to go open up my calculator. I'm going to pull my calculator in right over here. Okay. Now, I know it's a little harder to see these numbers because I haven't blown it up, but we're going to have to make do with it. And I can't fit the calculator and everything in here and let you see it blown up. Okay, 6.3 milliliters is the total amount of PG and VG you're going to add to your juice. Okay, but you have to take in consideration, if you have 100% PG nicotine base like I do, you've already added 1.2 milliliters of PG to your mix. So you're going to need to do some side calculations. Now, in the e Juice Me Up calculator that you work offline, it gives you information and areas to put in this type of data so that you can come up with a better, um, a better entry instead of having to worry about doing these side calculations on your own. Okay, this is what you're going to do. Say you want a 50-50. So we're going to take 6.3, which is the total amount of PG, VG we're going to add. And we're going to divide that in half by 2. That's going to give us a 3.15 calculation. Now that's going to mean you're going to need to add 3.15 milliliters of PG and 3.15 milliliters of VG. Now, you've also already added in 1.2 milliliters of PG from your nicotine base. So you're going to need to take one of these halves, the 3.15, and you're going to need to subtract 1.2. Two, because that is what you've put in already. You're going to get 1.95. 1.95 is how much PG you're going to add to your bottle. Because you've already added the 1.2 milliliters from your base, you're only going to add 1.95 to make this a 50-50 mix. Now, you need to figure out how much VG you're going to add. You're going to take the 6.3, you're going to divide it by 2 to get you your halves, that's the 1.35 we discussed earlier. Now, you're going to take the 1.35 and you're going to add 1.2 milliliters because that's what you add for PG. And it's, whoa, that is a wrong calculation. Hang on, I, add, I did it wrong. 6.3 divided by 2 equals, and then we're going, oh, I hit the wrong button. You're going to add 1.2. There we go. 3 point, or excuse me, 4.35 is your total. So you're going to add 4.35 of BG to your mix. And just to double check your calculations, you put 4.35 of BG, and your total that you put in of PG, you're going to add 1.95, and that will give you your 6.3 that you started with. Okay? So that's how you're going to do those calculations. Let me blow this back up again. Okay, so that's how we did those calculations there. Again, on the other eJuice calculator, they give you places to plug in the information, and it kind of does it for you. But I usually use this one because the other one's a little complicated, and I'm not quite sure how to work it. I'll mess with it a little bit more and uh, do a review on it at a later time. But this is where we are here. Now, Let's go back up here and do something interesting. Say you only have 24 milligram nicotine and you want 18 milligrams on your strength. And say we're going to make a 60 milliliter bottle and we'll put the flavorings down a little bit. We'll do them on 15. Hit the return key. And as you see, for your PGVG with nicotine, you're going to have 45 um, milliliters or 75% of total. Now you're asking, why is it so high? It's because you only have 24 milligram of the P, or, uh, nicotine in your nicotine base. I had 100 earlier. So that's why I order 100% or 100 milligram nicotine because... I don't use as much of it. Look at how much you're using of this just to make your juice. It's a little ridiculous. 
okay? Your PGVG is going to be 6 milliliters, and again, you're going to need to do the calculations that we did before, the adding and subtracting and dividing, so that you can figure out how much you're going to need to make if you want it 70-30, if you want it 60-40, if you want it whatever. If you want it 100% PG and your PG is your nicotine is 100%, then you're going to add all this 6 milliliters as PGs to get the 100% PG. If it's VG, you're going to need 100% VG nicotine base and put um, six milliliters of VG to get 100% VG nicotine or uh, juice. Zero on the water again and nine milliliters on the flavoring. So you're going to have to play around with this an awful lot. Everybody's tastes are different. Everybody likes something different, different strengths, different PG-VG ratios, different amount of flavorings. You're going to need to play around with this a lot until you figure out what juice percentage makes good for you. Um, it's just trial and error. You've got to keep trying it. Um, when you're playing with the nicotine base, make sure you're wearing a pair of latex or vinyl gloves because you don't want the nicotine to soak through your skin and make you sick with nicotine poisoning. Trust me, folks, it is not fun. I have had nicotine poisoning. It is not a fun thing to do. So I urge you to wear those gloves when you're messing with the, the nicotine bases so that you're, you're protected. So if anybody has any questions or comments, you can leave them below. If not, thank you very much for watching and have a pleasant day.